Hey everybody, what's going on? Hello, this is take, get this little thing. I forgot this thing. Uh-oh. We need it. Take two. Take two of this intro. How are you guys doing? And how was your day? Don't worry, all I did was cut open bags. I haven't taken anything out yet. It's all a big mystery to me. So what's going on? What happened today? Anything exciting? I just went to work, came home, shooting this video. <laughs> That's about it. Wednesdays are good days because we get out at four. So yay, yay for Wednesdays. Um, okay, so I came home and I had one, two, three little Timu bags. And then I had this Timu box that I think is part of my Timu sponsored haul. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's just open some of these little bags and see what's going on. Okay, I've got glasses. I've got, oh, I forgot the garbage bag. Oh, whatever. Okay, what's in this bag? What's in this bag is something that looks like this. Is it a lip? It's Blue Fox Beauty. And there's a sticker right on top of it, so I cannot see what in the world it is. But fortunately, we've got the blue scissors today. I don't know what happened to the black scissors. I know I had them in the other room because I finally got my packages out to Mary and Eva, the winners of my giveaway. I got those out. Oops. I got those out yesterday. And I have one more, I have a lot of little packages I need to send some friends. And I've got to send something to Kelly's Unboxing Addiction. And I've got a, a lot. So if you're waiting for something from me, it, it'll get there eventually. <laughs> okay, this looks like Blue Fox Ultra Last Crayon Lipstick. Now this looks orange AF. Oh, no. Now, it must not have looked orange in the picture. Now, I've got bright pink Dollar Tree lip. Oh, well, that's orange. I wonder why. I wonder why I did that. <laughs> I wonder... I wonder what I was thinking when I ordered that. Was I just thinking I'd like an orange vibe here? Fix my ultra professional studio so my head isn't cut off. What else is going on that I need to be aware of? Gingerbread house is still back there. Oh, well. Okay, let's try. Let me try to figure out what's going on now. Let me try to figure out what this order is. I think it should be fairly easy to find lips. Of course, everything's split up into little tiny packages. Of course, every order is split up into little tiny packages. All right, fine. I'm just going to look at every single one. And maybe we'll just say, forget it. Is this it? I don't see any lipstick in there. I don't see any lipstick in there. I don't see any lipstick in there. Should I start this thing over? This is awkward. Well, what's going to happen is... Uh, we are... Oh, look. No. No, come on. Uh, I don't have anything witty to talk about today. I don't really have anything going on. Um, nothing really happened at work. I sat at my desk. I did my job. And I was a little bit late. And so I was pretty paranoid that I was going to get a talking to or worse for being late again. 
I just can't seem to get my shizot together. All right, well, I don't know what that is or how much it was or why I picked orange or what. And I see one order that they said was, par oh, partially delivered. Good, because I was going to be like, there's no way. I don't see a bag big enough to fit all that stuff stuff in okay I don't know you guys it's just it's a mystery to me a mystery but if it'll come up you know how it is it always comes up let's see what else is in here okay can I throw this can I make that garbage bag from over here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that because you know what I'm gonna miss and then I'm gonna have to well here's another one here's another one okay what color is this Blue Fox Beauty Lipstick Crayon in, in color 13. The other color was color 15. I think I was going for like a nude, you guys. Lip color, that is. Oh, no. Why does this look orange, too? They tricked us. All orange all the time? Come on, now. What is the difference between those two? Stop it. I'm going to do the top lip with this one. Okay, well, that's a disappointment. What does it look like on my hand? Oh, my fingernails are off. Don't look at them. My fingernails are wrecked. I mean, it's pretty on my hand, but I'm just not really an orange lip kind of person. Maybe I should be an orange lip kind of person. You never know. This says sheer nude for the color, okay? The color's name is besides the number is sheer nude. And this color is caramel nude. So I don't know, you guys. Whatever. To me that I would call it tangerine orange and tangerine orange again. Okay, the next thing in here is a little tiny beautiful ring. It looks like it's for a baby. Oh no, I'm going to have to model rings. Look at how ravaged my fingernails are. My fingernails are shredded from all the glue. This is a size 7 delicate little Irish ring with a little um, cross on it. Celtic cross on it, and wow, it is delicate. And what? I've been eating too much cake, you guys. My mom makes these, and I hate anything that's called this, but my mom makes these dump cakes. <laughs> now, I can't, I'm so immature, I can't do it without, I can't say that without laughing. Stop. Okay, here it is smushed on my saw. Okay, don't look at this. Here it is smushed on my sausage finger. It's pretty. It's pretty and small and I feel pretty. It was so pretty. I don't know what I paid for that. I don't even know what order this is we're looking at. So my mom makes these dump cakes and you take a, a, a little, like a pan. You dump in two cans of fruit cocktail in it. Extra cherries if you like and then on top of that, you dump a box of white cake mix. Then you pour over all of it one stick of melted butter until the whole thing is covered. But then the parts that aren't covered with melted butter, you cut up some more butter and you put pats of butter in the spaces that aren't covered with melted butter. And then I think you bake it at like 400 or no, I think you bake it at 350. Shoot, I don't know what you bake it at for 40. If you Google fruit cocktail dump cake, <laughs> there's something wrong with me. You'll um you'll find it. Okay, there. Aha, I found the ring. I found the ring. If you Google fruit cocktail dump, dump cake, you'll find it. But I've been eating a lot of that, that, you guys, like a ton of it. Like, and suddenly I'm just, okay, sterling silver. I'm getting, I'm blowing up like a balloon, like a Thanksgiving parade float. 
Ster 925 sterling silver promise ring, classy cross design, carved Celtic knot on the surface, inlaid emerald. Here's what the picture looks like. It looks so much bigger in the picture. Here's what it looks like on my hand. It's pretty. It's small. I paid $5.98 for it, and it's now $5.09. I wish... Oh, now, now wait a minute. Did they pick the, a woman with the world's smallest hands? Here it is on the model. Okay, I mean, I guess that's about right. I don't know. Okay, you know it wouldn't be a Timu haul if we didn't say I thought it would be bigger. Okay, what else is in this little tiny bag? Oh, I won these on Fishland. These are earrings. Fishland, that was one of those extra games where they're like, if you get some shells or feed some fish five days in a row, you get an extra prize shipped right away. That kind of thing. So this is my Fishland prize. And I thought these earrings were pretty. They are supposed to be kind of mismatched, but I think I'm going to wear those tomorrow with whatever the heck I decide to wear because those are really cool. Ooh, I like, and I like the fact that they're different and I don't know how much they cost or what they, um, yeah, I don't know. That's refreshing for a change that I don't have to look for the price. Okay, that's it for this small bag. And that's it for this video, everybody. I'll see you later. I'm just kidding. 11 minutes. All right, little bag is done. Put all the trash in it. All the trash in the little tiny bag. So I've been eating dump cake. I've been eating panettone. Panettone. Italian bread. Let me make sure this is my boss texting me. Italian Christmas bread. A lot of it. I've been eating apples. Spanx is texting me. You know how these days how you can get a discount, but you've got to give them your, you know, you've got to sign up with your email address for the newsletter and then sign up for text messages. And you think, I really shouldn't give these people my information, but I really want that 20% off. They really do get you that way, don't they? Now, this bag is double bagged, which is thoughtful of them. Thank you. Thank you for double bagging it, Timu. Do that from now on with everything, please. And then we won't have any mishaps. Okay, I'm... It's annoying me too. All right, <laughs> can I open it? Let me open this one. Sorry, I gotta open a bag. Open a bag, which is the most exciting part of any haul video. All right, this is a lint remover. Why I felt like I wanted a chargeable lint remover when I have plenty of those sticky rollers. I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to be high tech and here comes the wrecking ball. He came in like a wrecking ball. Okay. We, it wouldn't be life without how many of these little chargers do you think I, hi Loki. I wonder how many of those little chargers I have probably 100. Oh gosh, what's happening? No, don't chew that, Loki. Here we go again. Loki, no. Loki, no. Loki, no. Get your foot off of it. Okay, now no. I said no. The bird says no, Loki. Okay, calm down. All right. It looks like this. It's a little lint shaver. I wonder if it's already charged. <gasps> Ooh. All right, um, let's use it to get some little, oh, you can use it to shave off all the fuzzy little balls off your sweater. Nice.
You know how when your sweater starts to get kind of raggedy looking like this? Oh, here comes Luna. She thinks it's that massage thing again. Oh, and now it makes it look fresh and new. Here, get this part down here. See how it's all frayed down here? Okay, Luna. No, it's not a massage, Luna. Oops, am I breaking it? All right, you guys. That was loud. Oops. What's happening? Get down, Luna. Everybody down. All the cats, please get down. Okay, let's see how much that cost. Here's Luna, everybody. And... Okay, everybody get the hell out. He came in like a wrecking ball. Do 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 do. do. Oh, I already bought that. Okay. Um, I saw something I liked, and I just started throwing it in my cart. Here it is: portable rechargeable lint remover. Six dollars and eighty-eight cents is what I paid for it, and it's still six eighty-eight. And yeah, I like it a lot. It really. Well, it didn't do much to this sleeve, but then again, Luna was distracting me, but I was hoping it would get some of these little crisp, you know, these things off. So this sweater isn't holding up well. I've only worn it once, and it's already looking kind of frayed. And this is a Timu sweater. It's a Gucci knockoff sweater. And these are my moissanite, yellow moissanite earrings, and this is HRH collection. And these are all the moissanite necklaces that I need to get off tonight now that I have no fingernails but I'm just wearing all the jangly things and then of course I've got the Gona bracelet on I need to get that off too now that I have no fingernails and then I need to put on some fingernails okay lint remover done smells like smoke <laughs> next thing in here is a mini razor for your face because y'all know, I mean, especially at a certain age, we we start to get strange whiskers on our face, faces. All right, once again, a little charging cord, and I like the shape of this one. I know there are, these are a dime a dozen, and there are a million of these out there, but I liked that this was small. And, oops, did I just break it? <laughs> I just broke it. Really? All I was trying to do is get the plastic lid off. And I pulled the whole thing off. Now, surely I didn't break it. Okay, I didn't break it. But how do you... Okay, alright. Let's see. Let's see if it's charged. Nice. Do I have any mustache hairs? Get the peach fuzz. <laughs> Could you shave your head with this? Sounds like it's working hard. Get this part in between here. Unibrow. Okay, how do I turn it off? All right, we've heard a lot of electrical things on this channel now. All right, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the size. I like that it's cute and small and compact. And yeah. And yeah, my face feels really, I mean, not that it felt, didn't feel smooth before, but sure, it feels smooth. I don't have a lot of facial hair, fortunately. Okay, how much was that? That was, I paid $4.04 for that, and it is still $4.04, and you can get it in black, too. All right, and that is all for this little bag. So, we're doing pretty good. We've got, wait, where did I put my lint remover? Here's the box. Oh, here's the lint remover. I'm going to put this back in the box, too if you don't mind. This back in here with its little charging thing. Yeah, I wonder how many of these I have. Probably at least 50. 
And the question is, should we just throw them away and just keep one of that type? Or should we keep all these little charging cords just lying around somewhere? Should we put them all in one of those big Ziploc Timu bags? The nice ones that everyone else seems to get, but not me. Oh wait, there's something else in here. I'm glad I stuck my hand in. Oh, cool. They're earrings, and I thought these were cool, you guys. These are red jade. Well, they say red jade, but... Red jade... Don't you break. The gold looks kind of cheesy. Yeah, that adds a pop of color, doesn't it? That's really nice. Look how pretty, look how much that brightens up your face, too. Cool. I really love these. These are beautiful. Pretty. You know, it would be pretty if you had this kind of lipstick to match. Well, no, that would be a little matchy matchy, but the orange and pink looks okay with the red, with the red earrings. So hip yippee. Oh, I need a thumbnail. We'll figure it out at the end. Okay. Those are going to be my new, some of my new favorites. And where and what are, are those and what order did those come from? And I, there was like three different orders in this thing, all broken up into a million different packages. And here it is right here. Package one, delivered to the front door. Order details. Okay, wait, do I have a price adjustment? No, okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. Sold out. Oh, I'm sorry about that. They're totally sold out. But there are some other pairs for fourteen forty eight. Holy crikey, which is red red agate or jade? Like they have these for fourteen dollars. Just search for red agate earrings if you like those, and you should be able to find them. Here's some longer one, red synthetic gems. Now, now I'm going to be all shopping. Well, it's interesting because I, all I see in my feed are like goofy things. And I only see the normal things when I get those like inspired by your order feeds or similar items to what you just ordered or something like that. Otherwise, my whole feed is just full of weird stuff. Okay, let's open up this. And once again, there is a bag within a bag. But what? There's something in here. Oh, gosh. More moissanite. I must have just been on a moissanite kick. Okay, get it out. It's the GRA. But I don't know what's happening here. Okay, I see what's happening here. All right, there. Okay, it's, it's in a bag with the GRA. All the paperwork. And let's see what in the world I got this time. I got... Oh, it's pretty. It's a cat. Okay, so from the side, it looks like a cat. Not that anyone's going to get that close to your finger. And then from the front, it's just, leave me alone. I'm engaged. Oh, it's pretty. So it's really, it's stacked like this. Get closer to the camera at the request of some people. And there it is, up close. Sparkly. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's really pretty. Woo! Leave me alone. I'm engaged. All right, let's see. 
now to find it. I do want to know what I paid for that. And I'm sorry they split my orders up into like 19 different orders. And they sent it all in different bags. And I was just looking at it too. So, oh, I was just looking at it in my feed. My gosh. And I had already ordered it. And I was about to order it again because that's how it works. Mm, we might not be able to find this, you guys. Here, and let's, this is my only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. There it is. Okay. It was, no. Let me see my order information. I bought one carrot. I only bought one carrot? I didn't buy two carrots? Oh, you could only buy one carrot. Okay, one carrot... It, it's 12 it's only twelve dollars and eight cents you guys that's a hot deal i paid 12.59 i did get a price adjustment for it and i got it in a size six i never know what size this leave me alone i'm engaged finger wears depends on how much salt i've been eating sometimes it's a five sometimes it's a five and a half sometimes it's a six how in the world am I going to, like, I don't understand what's going on. Okay, so there's a bag within a bag. I'm just going to cut this down the side and, all right, take out, is my address on it? No, seven things are in this bag. Okay, and then there is nothing else in this bag. Okay, put all the other bags in the bigger bag, kind of like a Russian nesting doll. Oh, it's getting dark and I hate it. My anxiety has been off the charts these days. I don't know why, I have no idea why. Conscious thought there avails me not. Like, I, I don't know. I can't put, like, a finger on what it is that's making me anxious. I just feel anxious. All the damn time. Like, it's just not a fun way to live. But really, like, extreme anxiety. And this is... A pillowcase, Valentine's Day pillow cover for a throw pillow. Two twenty four is what I paid for it, and it's now two sixty three. And let's see what's going on with this. I miss the I miss the radio station with Christmas songs on it. I miss listening to Christmas carols. That went by so fast, you guys. Okay, okay, so it looks like an envelope, like a love letter envelope, I think. Yes, that's cute, really cute. Here, cheese, happy Valentine's Day. I forgot about the thumbnail. Cheese, I look exhausted. All right, beautiful. For two bucks? Now that's what I call an old-fashioned Timu deal. And it's um, soft. It feels like a, like a felt, kind of, but a nice felt. Like a fine felt. A fine felt. A fine felt pillowcase. Alright, the next thing in here feels like a stuffed animal. And I thought it was going to be much bigger. I paid $12.72 for it. And it is now $12.62. And I did get a price adjustment. And Loki is going to end up playing with this. You can tell right now. It's a grumpy cat. Blue Russian. I always wanted a blue Russian cat. Like a real one. 
Does he say anything when he's squeezing? No, okay. He's got a really grumpy face. And he's really, really soft. And he's really fluffy. And sure, yellow eyes. And she's... Wait, fix this so it doesn't look so raggedy. It just all looks raggedy with the neon by my hair. Oh, that looks worse. Yeah, I'll just bear with me for a minute here. No, then you can't see hello sign. Hello. Thumbnail. Cheese. Hello. That's a dumb, that's dumb. Okay. That's kind of all I got for a thumbnail, you guys. So $12.62 is what he costs now. And in the picture, he looks really big. English short-haired blue cat is what they call it. And, oh, there are the dimensions, like, right there in front of my face. But here's the picture of him. Where he's a little more, at least he wasn't vacuum sealed and flattened. So there's that. And then, wow, there's a lot in here. I got these for a coworker, And I'm actually not going to even show them in case she's watching this video. So there. Sorry about that. These are really interesting earrings that were two. I paid two twenty eight for, and then I got a price adjustment on them, and they are now they're still two twenty eight. Let's see if they're in one piece. They are woo. They are something, you guys. They are sparkly. They are beaded, sparkly. Wow, those are pretty. Those are really beautiful. Nice. What is squeaking every time I move? That's not me and my gassy stomach. That's something squeaking every time I move. All right, these are cool. I love these too. I got some great earrings in this haul. At least for me, like the kind of style I like. Like, kind of, you know like this <laughs> then I got some little tiny hello kitty earrings again they were a dollar 98 and they are so tiny I don't think they're going to fit in my earlobes they are for a small child. I'll see if my little niece has gotten her ears pierced and if she has I will send them to her but they are tiny like the size of one of my ravaged fingernails and they look like this. $198. I got a refund. I mean I got a price adjustment but they're still $198. Yeah I thought I got the necklace not the earrings. Hmm. Oh, it says earrings. Oops. Okay. Put those right there. Get this out of the way. Is it blocking the microphone? Oh, no. If I play this back and the sound is bad, I'm going to be very unhappy. Now, this looks familiar. I got another one of these rings because I just wanted another one because I like this ring so much. And... In case something happens to the first one, I want to have this one. This one is really awesome, and I really love it. I love the little pearl, and I just think it's really cool. So, yeah, I got it again for $1.34, and it's now $1.48, and it's Chic Ring Special Design. Make Your Call Match. Daily Outfits Party Accessory. I have no idea, you guys. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, hi, thank It's this box that's making that squeaky noise. If you're new to my channel, hi, thank you for being new to my channel. I hope you'll subscribe 
you know, last month I had 27,000 uh, unique viewers who did not subscribe. That, that breaks my heart right there. Okay, so there it is. Yay, we have two. Hoard all the rings. Okay, what else? Stickers. Oh, nobody likes those. We've already seen these because 50 pieces, cute, Japanese, funny, loving stickers, 178 And I bought these twice. Maybe not. But I bought some Japanese stickers. I've already hauled some. And this is kind of along the lines of those. So we got this. We got some sushi. We got a volcano. What is that? Mount Fiji? Sorry. I don't know what it is. Got a cat chilling out. I like these. Happy cat. Blowfish. Pufferfish. Poisonous. Beautiful geisha. Bamboo. Sakura. Oh, okay. So anyway, beautiful. Okay, fun. Here's some ramen and sushi and all of that stuff. I wish I would really love to journal and stick stickers in my journal and do all that stuff. I dream of it. I dream of having the time and the peace to sit down and just jot down some thoughts and do something creative. Maybe one of these days, 178 for those. And then is that it for this bag? That is it for that bag. It was part of a much bigger order. No, it wasn't. That was the whole order. Okay. Here comes Loki. He came in like a wrecking ball. Loki, no. Loki, no. Hi, Loki. Okay. Oh. Watch out what buttons you hit, Loki. All right, next we got this box, and I think that this box, which came um, UPS delivered this box, and I think these are boots that are, so for my sponsored Timu, Paul, I picked the theme Winter Essentials, and I had something like, I don't even know how much money it wasn't. This, I think I had $300 to spend on that one, and so I just started picking just, or maybe four, I don't even know, you guys. Yeah, and so I picked these boots, so this is not like... I'm really not supposed to be showing you these right now because I don't know where the rest of that haul is, but let's just take a look at them anyway. They are, because maybe I'll wear them tomorrow. I Okay, I got them in black and brown, so here are the black ones. And sure, I mean, this is a little bit yellow. I wish this were a little bit lighter, but it's cool. They're cool. They're I got them in a size 8, so hopefully they fit. And those are, we're going to get back to those in another video because the link, I'd have to go into the influencer program link and pull this up and try to figure out what these are. And I'm going to have to link to them in a future video. Did that make sense? So put them back carefully in the box. 
Let me see if there's anything else in here. If they just sent these boots. It, oh, there are two pairs of boots. So I did get two pairs of boots. So maybe that's all they sent. No, you know how they split everything up into different packages now. Because I got a lot of sweaters and a bunch of stuff with this Winter Essentials theme. Kimu sponsored theme. Empty. Okay, and... These must be the brown ones. Let's look at them. Let's look at them and then save them for later and look at them again. Okay, I'll have to show them to you twice. Here's one brown one. The brown ones look cool. Nice. They look good for the look like I'm about to go stomping in the snow. They come in little individual bags, and I'm going to have to show you these again in, a, in another video. Gosh, Timu. Okay, did we take enough thumbnails? I guess we did. I'm going to have to do something with what I got. Just going to have to have a lame, kind of a lame thumbnail, I guess, because we didn't really have any thumbnail exciting type things. Loki's asleep now next to me. Loki. Oh, okay. Now he's not. He's purring. He's purring. Okay, be careful of these scissors. Okay, you guys. That's about it. Sorry that was kind of not exciting, but we saw some really cool earrings. And yeah, I like this. Of course, I like this cat moissanite ring with the little cat ears and the ring. So the cat, he likes to obsessively lick my hand for some reason. He's just always grabbing my hand with his two, he's always grabbing my hand with his two paws and licking it. And, and he will do that for like an hour if you let him. And no, don't let him. Yuck. Anyway, bye everybody. Thank you so much. If you watched, thank you for watching. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up button if you did that. And thank you for your kind comments down below. That means a lot to me too. And it really helps my channel. So I appreciate you guys. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And I hope that you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I can't remember where I put my deck of Would You Rather cards, you guys. We were playing Would You Rather. And then I don't know where I stashed that deck of cards. But I do have right here, I did find... I mean, where would it be? The last place we used it was in my mom's room when I was filming in there. So, but we, I do have these talking point questions, although they're for couples. But if I pick one that's not like a spicy one, we could all answer a talking point question. So, the question of the day is, have you ever dreamed about starting a business? If so, what was it? Um, have I ever dreamed about starting a business? Yes, I have always wanted to open. So when I was little, my grandmother would take me to this. It was cool. It was like a tea house where you could go have formal tea. But then all then in so it was a house and then in the main big room they had turned into a restaurant where you could have formal tea. And then the side rooms were full of beautiful dolls that were made by artists and things. And they weren't like plastic cheesy dolls. And then one whole room was filled with dollhouse furniture and stuff. So the, my grandmother and I would go to, and we would put on these. They had when you walked in, they had like um, a coat rack with a bunch of feather boas and fancy hats. And you could choose them and... So my grandmother and I would go in and put on our little feather boas and fancy hats and we'd, we'd have formal tea with the little sandwiches and cakes and things and tea. And then we, when we were done, we would go shopping and I'd get to pick something out. It was fun. 
And so I always wanted to grow up and start a business like that, like around here in this place where we don't have anything like that. But, you know, I just didn't, it never really happened. And I don't know how to cook, let alone, you could also order like the soup of the day and stuff like that. It was a little restauranty, and that's a big undertaking. But yeah, that would be fun. I just don't know if the people around here would go for that. That was kind of like a grandmother, granddaughter, special memory kind of thing. But this place is kind of out in the middle of nowhere in Iowa and people would drive forever just to get to this cute little place. So, and it was well known for its broccoli and cheese soup. So yeah, that's my business that I've always dreamed of starting is a business like that. If you've ever thought of, if you've ever dreamed of starting a business and you would like to share, go right ahead in the comments below. That was the question. Now we answered it. Now it's 45 minutes. I've been running my mouth. Okay. Thank you again, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And now we say, how do we stop this thing? How do we stop this thing?